He drew a couple of pass interferences, saw him throw a good key block on a play earlier today in the Ravens' victory. Well, the Ravens suffered several injuries in that one. See if the Giants can get anything going. Jones running for his life, throws it back across, the flag down. Was Jones inbounds? It's ruled a pick on the field by Stephon Gilmore. It was interesting right at the very end of the play as I was watching and Parsons is running down Daniel Jones. Let's take a look at this hit. He's inbound when he makes contact. So yep, all good. All good. And and then the veteran the 12th year man Gilmore. He's able to scoop it before it hits the turf. Franchise tags on top of it. He never gets the open market his entire career. Jones throws here. Darius Slayton with the catch. Right near the first down mark of the 48. He's about a half yard short. More ratings and all the different things. Wins above replacement. Thank you very much. Because I didn't really know what it was. <laughs> Here's Jones throwing, and it's incomplete. Neal, the seventh overall pick in 2022 this year, too. Jones again running, flag is down, pass is incomplete with Gilmore covering. Fake the counter, deep drop, long throw, Hollywood Brown has it knocked away by Stephon Gilmore. When you have a defense as good as the Cowboys, they have to win right now. Purdy scans it, throws a little bit behind and almost brought in by IU. But incomplete. Stephon Gilmore, the veteran, was there in coverage. First sack of the night. Herbert gets rid of it, and he's picked. Intercepted by the Cowboys. The catch is good. And they come off of that. Stephon Gilmore has got a little help with safety, so he's able to drive on this route by Quentin Johnston. Stafford, lofting, corner, Nakua, is he in? No! Good effort by Puka Nakua, couldn't control it, and it's third down. Top of the screen to double-team Cooper Cup, so that left one-on-one. -on -one. Stephon Gilmore has been doing that at a high level for a long time. He just plays through his hands. Let's take a look here. If he held on to the ball, would have been close whether or not he was in bounds or not, but obviously he lost the ball. They will run it. Oh, that ball is loose. It's on the ground. Oh, my goodness. Who's going to get it? Watch Swift and A.J. Brown just run dead into each other before Swift has a chance to put the ball away. And Tyler Steen has never made more impact in a game in his young career. You can see that ball under the right elbow and talk about being in the right place. Darius Slayton in motion, second and seven. Four man rush, DeVito knocked away, trying to get it to Bellinger, but just fantastic coverage. Stephon Gilmore all over it. Third and 15, pressure coming. DeVito launches. Slayton, did he stay in bounds? He did not. Incomplete, and it's fourth and long. Stunts, pressure again. Just gets it off to Hubbard. He's got a long way to go, and he's not going to get there. Gilmore was there, and so was Bell. Just hand the ball off. Quarterback, hand it to him. You pretend like you're faking it. Uh, or let's throw it really deep. And go one-on-one -on -one for the home run ball. And they don't get it. Oh, it's broken up by Gilmore brilliantly because it looked like McLaurin had a chance to haul it in. But it's not now. But, I mean, watch that. It's a double move, and Gilmore doesn't get fooled. Outstanding job. He's a veteran. Usually you'd think that they would stop on a hitch. But great technique at the end, poised through the finish. Cool. And here comes your big fourth down. Yeah, you're probably looking at 10 to 15. Sure. A lot. Smith throws into a lot of traffic, and that's incomplete there. We have him as the lowest graded run defender, so a big change here. A.J. Brown with the pressure on. Gilmore knocks it out. It's free. And the Cowboys come up with it. See why he was the former defensive player of the year, surefire Hall of Famer, and Stephon Gilmore now for the second straight week has been dominant against the other team's best big receiver. What a night he's having out here tonight. Overload with pass rushers to Hertz's rights. 
Brooks getting rid of it. Brown underneath trying to catch and run. Gilmore having a five-star night. Here comes the pressure. Hurts throws underneath. Catch and run. Devontae, no! Gilmore again! Yeah, the guy I love, Oso Digizua, right there. One of the top interior defensive linemen rushing the passer. Third down, quick throw. Diggs, did he hold on? No, Stephon Gilmore is there to knock it away. And now a fourth down. It looks like a punting situation. That was a, a big turnover last week, a big turnover tonight. Second down and two. Goff has his man, and that's incomplete with Laporta not able to make Third and one here. Now they go trick play. Under center, Wildcat. Flip it out to Howell. He's got a man open. It's McLaurin. Oh, it's almost intercepted. McLaurin was open, but Gilmore recovered to save it. Then it's fourth and one. And Thomas, remember, he was a quarterback in college. Looks like it's going to be quarterback sneak. Then he goes option to Sam Howell. And you said it. Terry McLaurin is wide open. Sam Howell's just got to put this ball out there, and it's a touchdown. Yeah, that was a gimme. But they didn't connect.